In this tutorial, we'll show you how to scrape products off a WordPress website, which is most likely built using an open source WooCommerce plugin. We will be using Parsub, our free web scraping tool, to scrape any WordPress website using WooCommerce or another e-commerce plugin. According to BuiltWith, over 13 million websites are using WooCommerce. BuiltWith is a free tool that can analyze a specific URL and give you a detailed report of the technologies and plugins running on a website. We recommend you use BuiltWith to check if a website is running WooCommerce and or WordPress before using this guide. If it's hosted with Shopify, you can follow our Shopify scraping guide. However, the steps are more or less the same as scraping e-commerce products with Parsup is super easy regardless of the technology behind the website. Let's begin scraping a WordPress website that is using WooCommerce. Remember, you can use BuiltWith to check if a website is using WooCommerce. Step one, scraping products. First, open the Parsup application on your computer. Start a new project by clicking that new project button. Enter the WooCommerce store URL you wish to scrape. We will be scraping this online comic store. Once the WordPress website loads, click the first product's name to extract it. The other product names should turn yellow. Click the yellow ones to train the algorithm. Continue until all 18 products have been extracted. Rename this selection to product on the left. Step 2. Scraping prices. First, click the plus button next to your product selection from the last step. Choose relative select and click the first product and then the product's price. All prices should now be extracted. Rename the selection on the left to price. Step 3. Pagination. If we ran the scrape now, only the first page's products would be scraped. To scrape multiple or all the pages, we need to use Parsup's pagination. Scroll to the bottom of the WooCommerce store until you see the navbar. Click the plus button next to the page selection, not to be confused with the product one from the earlier step. Choose select and click the next button arrow to extract it. Rename the selection to pagination, expand it, and delete the two extractions. Click the plus button next to pagination selection and choose click. Choose yes as this is a next page button and choose the additional amount of pages you wish to scrape. We chose two which means three pages of scrape data in total. Step 4. Start WooCommerce product scraping. If you followed along you should have successfully extracted products, their prices, perhaps some additional information on each product page and finally set up pagination to scrape hundreds of WooCommerce products. To begin the scraping process on Parsub servers, click the green get data button on the left. You can choose to test, run or schedule your scrape. We chose to run the scrape a single time, getting us three pages of data in total as specified in our pagination step. Here's what Parsub's data export produced. If you need further help scraping WooCommerce websites or any website, contact our live support. The link is in the description below. Happy scraping!